Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today what we're going to be using is iClone 7, which is from the Reillusion suite. We're going to be using Character Creator 3 and bringing across our character. We're going to use our iPhone 10 and apply facial motion capture data directly to our character. From here, we're going to export that character, bring it into Blender, and start doing some wonderful animations. Now, I do have an affiliate link for this, and as you know, I use Re the Reillusion suite quite heavily. So if you do want to support the channel, pick it up below and let's just jump into the tutorial and we'll go from there. So first things first we've got to do is select our character. We come over here into our motions on the right hand side, scroll down to the bottom and we've got motion live. Now the first question is, are you going to be recording audio? If you're going to be recording audio, you need to enable the record audio. So let's turn that on. This will be the microphone that I'll be using. And now let's connect our phone. So I've now opened up our app. Hello, how you doing? And let me just reassign that. Sorry, realign it. From here, we can see up the top that our pin number, sorry, our IP address is 192.168.06 and it's incorrect up here. So let's just remove all that and we do 192.168.0.6. From here, we press the little green button and we should see our phone is now connected. Lovely. Now we're gonna click on this triangle, live face, and now I can press base and go preview. Well, hello there, yes. Now it's a little bit wonky is because we haven't um, set up the normals or normalized the face. So to do that, I'm gonna press space to stop. We've got set zero pose. So I'm gonna look at the camera with a neutral face and then click the button. So here we go. And now that should align to me again, a little bit better. So if I click preview and then just start talking, yep, that's. I'm, isn't that right? Yeah, it is. You know what I mean, yeah? Yeah, buddy. Now, <laughs> let's just talk about a little bit about the setup. Now, you really should be clean shaven. So if you've got a big bushy beard, it's not really going to work for you too well. Um, I've got a light over here. I've got a secondary light up there. And obviously, I've got the room light. And I need it to brush my hair a little bit. That's fine. So by doing that, it will allow really good capture data. So let's now just quickly, let's just go ahead and record a line. Um, this will be probably for a sh little short that I'll be doing on a stand-up comedy, uh, stand-up comic, just telling really bad jokes, but they're kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to set that zero pose again. And then I'm going to press record. And so it's not recording yet. Let's just move that back to zero. And then I'm going to press the space bar to start the recording. What did the dog say when it sat on sandpaper? Rough. Beautiful. <laughs> that is such a bad joke. Oh gosh. Now I'm just gonna put the camera away um, because we don't need to use it at the moment um, because I need to show you some other stuff. So now I've put that all away. And as we put the back to the start, we can press play. What did the dog say when it sat on sandpaper? Rough. <laughs> Gosh, that is terrible. So this is another little thing you can, if we actually watch it, what did the dog say? It's like a little bit of a delay. And that's because my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi that's connected to the computer. So there is that little bit of a lag there. If you want to bypass that, you can get a cable that goes from the phone straight to USB, and that will actually eliminate it a little bit. So let me just remove this. Yep, that's fine. And I'm just going to increase the timeline just so we can explain a little bit more information. So if I expand motion, we still don't have any of those details. So let's select the drop down next to our character, and we do this VisMe and we expand that. Now we've got our audio and we've got a little bit of lip sync, but that's still not all the information we need. What I need to do is select from the drop down. We need expressions as well. And now if we expand expressions, this is what's responsible for our facial animation. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this animation so we can see that it finishes around frame 500, just like we did before, file, export fbx blender 30 frames a second we're going to change this to about 500 untick embedded textures let's go export 
And this one will be line one. Now you can record doing it line by line. However, I strongly recommend doing all your facial motion capture in iClone as one action, because when you come into Blender, you can actually split the actions and that's a lot easier than setting up multiple actions and lining them all up together. So what I'm gonna do now is just record a whole bunch more of terrible jokes. And then at the end of the video, you'll see the body motion capture and the facial motion capture all together as one. And that's all gonna be done within iClone. And then from there, what I'm going to do is export all those lines and import it into Blender. And then we're gonna use some motion capture data and apply that motion capture data to our character. So we've both got facial motion capture and body motion capture working together. So I've now exported my full animation. If I go file, import, FBX, let's find our character. This is the full joke clip. I'm gonna click import. And then we have it, our characters now in our scene. If I just delete the default cube, and then from here, if I select our armature, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of keyframes. And if I scrub along, we can see that there he is, he's talking, we've got mouth movement, everything's come over. Now let's say for instance, I wanted to keep the facial motion capture, but I wanted to get rid of all the other parts. So I just want face, not body, not hands, nothing else. Let's go up into the animation tab. Let's change the editor type to our nonlinear animation. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of like, if we start scrubbing through this, you can see that it's really choppy. So first thing we're gonna do, is gonna go pose mode, we're gonna change to object mode. And at the moment, if I expand all these, we can see that we've got actually five animations playing at the moment. We've got the armature, which is the bones, the body, which is the face. We've got the eye occlusion, which is kind of like a transparent layer in front of the eyes, the tear line, which is obviously a tear line and the tongue. So we've actually got five animations playing at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down all these animations. There we go. And now I can actually scrub through this very comfortably, which is awesome. But now we want to remove, so now we wanna remove everything but the face. So first things first, we've got the armature selected. Let's go from dope sheet to action editor. Let's press uh, the armature up here and just select uh, this action. I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode. And we're just gonna call this arm underscore face motion. I'm just gonna press tab to get out of edit mode. And we're gonna come down here and select our face motion animation. From here, I'm gonna press pose mode. And then I'm gonna come into the front view here and let's go wireframe. I'm just gonna select all the bones I care about. Now it's obviously the eye bones. So I can press C for like a uh, selection. We want the mouth and the jaw and the tongue. And also I might grab the head bone. So let's zoom right in, whoops. Let's zoom right in and there's a little tiny little bone in here. I'm gonna hold shift and left click. That's the neck. Oh, let's just select all that. And then it'll be easier just to deselect the neck with middle mouse button. So now we've got all our head. These are all the bones we care about. If we drop down the action editor, we can see what we've got highlighted. What I can do now is press control I to invert our selection. And now let's delete all these keyframes here. Might take a little bit because there's quite a few. And so if we come back to the top and I select everything, now we've only got teeth, you know, facial bone. These are the only things we care about. So now if we come in and we just start moving around, we can see that his um, face is still moving up and down. So we've still got full control. So this is exactly what we want. Now, why did I do this? Well, let's say that I've got the facial motion capture data and I actually wanna add the walk cycle that we did before. So let's press tab to go back into object mode. I'm just gonna scroll out. From here, I wanna bring in that animation that we set up. So I'm gonna go file. I'm gonna go append. I actually wanna bring the animation file in to save. Let's go to the location of our blend file. So vid2 body. We're gonna go up into the actions. And from here, these are our two animations from the previous video. So I can select these two both and go append. And now what we want to do is add it to the top here. So I'm going to select our uh, track, the three lines at the top, add, and then we're going to click add track. 
and we can actually do add track above selected. Here we go. And now what I'm going to do is come to the start, select our track, shift A to add, and those are our two actions. So I'm just going to add in a uh, walk start and we'll see that as he's walking, hopefully he starts talking. No, he won't start talking. And why is that? That is because whatever's on top will win. So for instance, if I now come into wireframe mode, because this animation here has a head animation, whatever keyframes are here is what's gonna be shown first. So let's fix that. So I'm gonna press tab above the walk cycle. So we're gonna edit the walk cycle now. Now let's do the exact same thing we did before. I'm going to select everything in the head. Let's just select all that. There we go. Deselect the neck. But this time, rather than inverting our selection, these are the, this is actually what I want. So I'm gonna come down here into the bottom. I'm gonna expand everything. Let's select everything we can, and I'm gonna delete frames. And now if I go tab back into object mode, let's go back into object mode, back into solid mode. And then we can see that now, he shakes his head out of disgust because they're terrible jokes. We can see now that we've got that facial movement and he's now talking. Now let's put everything together with what we've done in the previous video and this video. I'm going to use some body motion capture that I created before that I've already saved into another blend file. And I'm gonna use this facial motion capture that we've been using right now. Let's go file, append, because I want all that data from that other blend file and put it into this blend file. If I were to just link it, that data would stay in the other blend file, but I can't edit any of the keyframes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this one. Let's go up into actions. And this is what we've got. We've got our armature, which I didn't rename. So this is our armature action. These four here are the shape keys actions. Now we'll explain that in a sec, but I'm going to select everything. I might actually grab action as well. Let's just be safe. And I'm gonna click append. So now what we have, if we've got a list of actions in here. Now, if there is an F, that means when I close the blend file, that action will stay there. That means there's a fake user to it. If there's a zero, what that'll mean is as soon as I close the blend file, that data will be gone. So let's start attaching motions to this character. So at the moment, if I scrub through the timeline, we see we don't have any actions to it. So let's go to frame one. I'm gonna select our armature. Let's select the NLA track. I'm going to go shift A and let's open a action. Let's see if this is the one. And this is our action. So this is the one for our armature, okay? Now, if I were to go tab to edit this, I actually can't because down here, there are no keyframes. The problem is, is I'm in the shape key editor at the moment. So let's change that from shape key editor to action editor. And here we are, we've got all our details, all our keyframes, so we can actually change that. So I'm gonna press tab to get out of that one. Next thing I wanna do is add the facial motion capture motion. So let's select our body and I'm gonna select the track, shift A, and let's add in joke body. And even now if I were to select this and press tab, it's not gonna work because we need to edit the shape keys. So let's change action editor back to shape key editor. And here we go, here's all our data. So now if I were to scrub through, we should see that we've got our facial. Beautiful. Now we need to also, I'm just gonna press tab to get out of this. We need to also add in our eye occlusion. So let's add that one, um, come to frame one, shift A, um, joke OCC, which is occlusion, that's just what I called it. Let's do the same for the tear line and same for the tongue, there we go. So now if we kind of go through, everything is working as it should be. And that's how we add both body and facial to a character. And so now let's have a look what we've achieved. We've gotten our character from Character Creator 3, put it into iClone, captured our facial motion capture, exported it and put it into Blender. And now we've also added a body animation. 